Hello, welcome back to my channel, it's Deja Bliss, where we talk about kundalini awakenings and also life force management techniques to support you. So I'm kind of going to play around with some themes on the week based on the planetary influences. So I like to look at that. Monday is moon day. So if you're watching this today, the moon is all about nourishment and self-care and mothering. And it relates to the energy of cancer, the crab, and the zodiac sign. And so today, um, and you know, whenever you feel it's appropriate in your awakening, self-care is always a good idea. But in our attempt to discipline ourselves, tapas, right, to um, allow this process to be more uh, supported, then at least taking one day a week for self-care is awesome. And if you can do even just a little bit today with me, that would be amazing. So I learned re reflexology some years ago and it's actually really simple if you don't know anything about it but all of your body parts are represented in both your hands and your feet so little self massage in your hands and feet actually stimulates all the organs and all the glands and i'm just going to give you a little tip for today alongside the outside of your hands so if you put them together like this the spine is what runs up and down the center line. So it's the same thing with your feet, but it's running down the middle line here. So if you massage and rub this area, you are helping with the energy of the spine, which is where your life force energy runs. And if you're feeling, if you just kind of rub against the bone all the way up and you notice some sore spots, well, that's encouraging that flow. Maybe there's a place where you feel stuck and then all the way up into your fingers, which represents the head, the eyes, ears, nose, mouth. Uh, the middle of the fingers would be like your brain and your pineal gland. So it's a really great practice to get into to when you're feeling aches and pains or when you're feeling uncomfortable to find the tender points in either your hands or your feet. You can do it with or without a little bit of oil of some kind or lotion to make it nice. But this is all the internal organs of the body in here. The lungs are running over the pads of the fingers. So really just finding like where are your tense points? Where are your sore points? Where can you find those? And then rather than being like, ouch, I don't want to do that. That hurts. If it's tender, really work into it. Massage it for a little bit. Like move your fingers around. I do have some acupressure for health videos on here. I didn't publish the whole acupressure course that I have on on my webpage, uh, blissme.passion.io. I don't even know if we got through the entire alphabet on there yet, but if you're interested in learning more about that, start to check out some of those videos for specific ailments. But in general, self-care and for kundalini, um, just noticing where are the sore spots in my hands? Is it in the webbing? This is one of the main control center points in acupressure. Um, that does help pain. So if you have general overall pain, you might try the control center. Um, you might check out in the acupressure videos um, in that playlist, I do have a specific video for control centers. So there's five main control centers for pain on the body. So if you are experiencing that, you might have some stuck chi, some stuck prana, and you want to go to those points and massage them. And there's a specific way of doing that, which I outline in that um, intro video. And if that's not there, go ahead and go to blissme.passion. Dot io and get one of those really simple monthly packages you actually get a lot of courses if you go on there and sign up and one of them is the acupressure course so make sure you look for which one contains that um, the intro will give you how to do the points what to look for but in basic reflexology you're just looking for sore tender spots so you might go in and go oh that's that's a sore spot and then just do like a little circular motion kind of pressing up against the bone till you feel a little bit of relief and then you know it might feel a little bit sore for a minute but that's going to move your vital energy and help your vital energy feel better and it's actually something you can do anywhere, even at your desk, or even while you're waiting in a, you know, waiting room or in the line at the grocery store. You can, I love to just go up the fingers and just go along the sides, pinching the bones and just find where there's a sore spot. Your sinuses, um, if you pinch both sides of the nails, 
that's a really great spot to get into. So just a little self-nourishment practice today. It's important in the awakening that we take the time to care for ourselves. I've mentioned before, but in India, if you are going through a Kundalini awakening, you go to an ashram. You know, you isolate yourself from the rest of the world so you can focus on what's happening internally. But in this Western world, this busy world, we don't really have the luxury for that. So it's great to find little ways at least once a week or a little bit of time each day to self-nourish, to self-care, to help the body's energy to move, help the chi to move, whether it's getting a massage, going and getting a pedicure, they give you a nice foot massage, head massage, maybe you just need to get your hair styled so that somebody can massage your head. There's so many acupoints on the head too. Um, so just taking a little bit of time today to self-care and actually move the energy, right? Move the energy in the body. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday is Mars Day. So I'm going to focus on some actions, some body movements that we can do to help support Kundalini. So I hope you'll join me back again there. And I do still have some Eclipse Master Tonic bottles left. So if you want to stag one of those before they're gone, one ounce bottles are 22, two ounce bottles are 44. You can... I've got payment methods below. Just send me an email. Let me know you want one before they're gone because this is like a one-time only thing brewed during the powerful Aries total solar eclipse strained out on this last uh, Scorpio full moon with the energy of moving the you know, moving stuff in the body, helping move congestion physically and emotionally and mentally. I did add the flower essence of walnut in there to support change. So it's a real fiery tonic, but there is a softness of some gentle flowers in there to help with that potent Aries energy, get movement going, but also to soften and allow it to be, have a little gentle nourishing backup in there. So if you want one of those, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here and joining my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video, share it if it helps you out. And I hope you'll check out all the other videos that are here. There's lots and lots of resources. I'm here to support you. Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. This is just something I'm passing along, sharing what I have learned in my decades of awakening processes, hopefully to serve you in yours. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Come back. Let's meet again. And until then, namaste. The divine in me acknowledges, sees, honors the divine in you. And I love you.